since its historic launch in October 2003, Himalayan goji juice has become one of the most successful new products in the history of the nutritional industry. As a result, hundreds of thousands of people around the world are now enjoying better health and well-being. In August of 2005, Dr. Earl Mendel, the developer of Himalayan goji juice, was invited to a remote area of Asia near Inner Mongolia and the Gobi Desert, where the goji berry is so cherished and revered that each year they conduct a grand festival in its honor. Dr. Mendel was invited to the festival to thank him and to honor him for dedicating his life to improving people's health and for tirelessly sharing the miracle of the goji berry with millions around the world. It was also an opportunity for Dr. Mendel to continue his groundbreaking research on this miraculous berry and to thank the local people for their contribution toward making Himalayan goji juice such an incredible worldwide success. What follows are scenes and photos from this historic visit. After a 14-hour flight from San Francisco and another four-hour flight from Beijing, we finally arrived. This beautiful land is truly another world, another place suspended in time. My first desire was to visit the famed goji fields of this heavenly land. It was simply incredible. Beautiful red goji berries still on the vine. The sight was magnificent. Miles and miles of goji fields. I had often been asked if there was enough goji to feed the world. We will never run out of goji. Next, I visited the local farmer's market where tons upon tons of goji berries were being dried and prepared. Literally billions of berries ripening in the sun. Local farmers drying the precious berries according to their age-old customs and time-proven practices. It was truly a miraculous sight. Everywhere I went, Goji was there. The kind people greeted me with enthusiasm at every turn. I was interviewed by the local television stations and greeted by celebrities and dignitaries everywhere I went. But in reality, I was the one who was honored to be there, to be a part of the century-old celebration of the Goji. It was truly remarkable at a moment in time I will never forget. Along our way, our guide suddenly stopped. There was something I must see, he said, and he was right. The statue of the Goji girl, erected as a salute to those who picked the precious Goji berries. It was fascinating. And in that instant, it became clear to me that the people of this region did truly appreciate and understand the historical significance of this miraculous berry. The next day, the Grand Goji Festival began. Balloons and flags and dancers and music. It was overwhelming. I was overcome with emotion as I realized that with Goji, we could truly better the health of the world. But then I saw something else something that will live in my mind forever. A living testimony to the power of the goji that I could never have imagined. We walked into a small modest home where I met the most remarkable woman I have ever seen. She was well over a hundred years old, yet full of life. You could see it in her eyes. The translator did not even have to tell me. Then she looked at me and said, Goji. 
She told us that she had taken Goji since she was a girl and that it was the secret to her long life. Staring into her eyes, I believed her. And I think maybe even more than the festival that this was the highlight of my journey. Not the fields, not the harvest, not the festival, but this ancient smiling woman, a living testimonial. Gorgeous. As I departed these loving people who cherish Goji as much as I do, I vowed to myself that I would never let them down. I would work even harder than ever before to bring the good news of Goji to the millions of people around the world who so desperately need it. This is my life's mission. created the miraculous goji berry. The Himalayans discovered it, and Free Life International is sharing it with the world. Join us.